Hello and welcome to Space Engine. Okay, so Messier 87. The very first image of a black hole that we've ever taken using eight telescopes scattered across the planet. What I want to try to do is recreate this image in Space Engine. So what we're going to do is we are going to go fly straight to the black hole at the same angle, well, we're at currently from Earth. Now the galaxy is selected, but you can't really see it yet. But if I zoom in, you can see it right there, because it is an incredibly bright galaxy. So we can't see it at our current magnitude in the game, just sitting at the stock field of view. But if we zoom in, we can see it right there. Let's go ahead and just face the camera towards it. I can zoom in further and possibly get things to start loading, but that's just increasing the potential to just crash the game. So what I'll do is I'll hit Control, Left Control and double tap G and that should take me straight to the black hole in the center of the galaxy and there it is okay so we have a pretty good angle on this actually what I would roughly expect it to be in reality okay so it has that slight off to the right angle in the game so so far it's so good let's go ahead and turn down the bloom now the thing about the image that we took is it does not include all these outer bands of the accretion disk, only really the center details because that's mainly the uh, focus point to see the edges of the accretion disk so we can see the detail of the black hole and what to expect. So how can we do this? Hmm. I think I'm going to edit it in post and add a blur filter. Not because the image itself is really as blurry as it shows. I'm going to show a picture of it right now in post. But because it's actually a really, really low res image. But nonetheless, it is an image of a black hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick down the exposure. Which should hide the outer edges of this accretion disk. And what I'm going to do in post is increase the effect you're going to see of, well, as you can see, it turned orange. I'm going to make it more red in post to make it show up a little bit more like the image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all these stars from the background. So there we go. Now we just have the accretion disk as the angle from Earth. What I could do is possibly lower it down a little bit more. And this should be effectively the same picture. Now, what's cool about this is if it's the same picture, I don't know as I'm recording this, is if it's accurate, then Space Engine, well, not Space Engine exactly, but our perception of black holes recreated this image before it even existed. So this version of Space Engine came out much like years before this image of this black hole came out, which is today. So if it's accurate, that means we kind of predicted this in image and we're able to simulate it in Space Engine, and that is very cool. Anyways, I hope it's accurate. If not, well, this was kind of a flop of a video, but I'll probably throw in text right now whether or not it's accurate or not. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next video.